Update on my inverter project. Got it here today and uh, neat and thing built up a little bit. Got everything connected here. All the buttons are working on my app now. So speed one, 50 cycles. Two, 45. Three is 40. Four is 35. Five is 30. Six is 27.5. And speed seven is 25. That's the minimum that this motor will run at. It won't run below 25 hertz. And uh, I had this piece of acrylic left over from another project that it got a scratch in it or something, so I couldn't use it. Uh, so I cut it up and uh, made it a place to mount all this stuff so you don't have wires flopping all around. I'm just, I work on this stuff for a living. Not this particular stuff, but I work on a lot of electronics for a living. Uh, cable management is, is something that's always on my mind. So, you could do this whole project for less than a hundred dollars. I think inverter was like 80, 80, between 80 and 90 bucks on, on the jungle website. And then, uh, this four channel relay board was, uh, I don't know, less than 10 bucks. And these ESP 32s, you can get those. I think I bought a three pack of them for like $19. So, my object here was to do this project with minimum amount of money, the minimum amount of hardware, the minimum amount of wiring. So it's all on one cable, one eight, eight conductor cable, and uh, just a minimum amount of code. And I think I achieved that. It's, uh, it's all working seamlessly. And this is something you could install. Now you could install it as is. You could not install this, diver this inverter in the United States the way it is as a standalone. This has to go inside of a, of a cabinet because it's got no strain relief right here. Um, you can't connect wires like that in the United States. I guess you can in China. Um, and then you, if you did put it in a cabinet, you would have to separate the high and low voltage. So you'd have to have actually a, a solid partition in there to uh, separate the high voltage and low voltage. Um, but you could. It's something you could actually install and use um, all this stuff. And eventually I'm gonna do a uh, full length video and we'll post all the code, uh, links to get all the hardware. And uh, if you are looking for a cheap three-phase motor for a project, go on Marketplace and find yourself a used variable speed pool pump um, because they are uh, three-phase motors. The other thing is, since they're designed to run on an inverter drive, a VFD, um, the motor's built to be operated on a VFD. Not all three-phase motors are. And uh, you can destroy a motor, destroy the bearings in it with a VFD. But that's it for now. See you on the next one.